All right, here we go. This is Jim from High Performance, and this is Dante the Mute. Um, we're going to show you today how we charge our fuel cells. Um, basically, this is our fuel, distilled white vinegar. It's a Win Dixie, it's a cheap brand. Um, this is my distiller. That's my Variac, and these are things that are used to distill my vinegar. Over here, this is a, an R22 rice rocket. Um, we just got done charging it. So we're going to move into our 396. This is our plate configuration. Um, doing this video also because of, uh, for Jerry Labar. This is a 427 big block. This is going out for a V10. Um, this is for our distributor, uh, Jim Haywood. Um, I think he has got it down packed. He's the man. Um, this is a master fuel cell that's getting ready to get charged up. And this is for Jerry Labar. Um, normally we let other people charge them, but we're going to start doing them ourselves so we can expect them and make sure we have no problems going out the door. This is our pulse width modulator this is our Stan Myers um, this is what we use to charge our master fuel cells we have to charge it from a 12 volt battery um, our distributors get all just these eight bands here um, Dante DeMute is uh, hooking up the power to the cell um, here's our reservoir tank what we'll do is uh, when we charge our distilled vinegar we always make sure it's up to here at least filled with charged and then what we'll do is we'll add our distilled white vinegar here's some charged vinegar already um, voltmeter amp gauge you're gonna need that we have a second voltmeter there's our temperature gauge this is our flow pump back here um, Underneath here, Donnie put the hot plate underneath there. You can see it down there. See the lights on. Let's see here, it's off. Uh, I don't want to mess with it. You can see it's on. And what we're doing is we're going to heat the fuel cell to help it. And that's temperature for our tank here. Let's see what the inside temperature is. That's the tank temperature now. Inside temperature is 68. So the tank temperature was a little bit higher, not much. Okay, and then we'll go to our other heat temperature gauge. And then um, I'm going to show you something. What we always do is, this is what's different about us than everybody else. People are going around calling these wet cells, dry cells, we don't make that we make is a bipolar fuel cell and then you can see here get the compass all the way over there's the compass open and it's set and there's north see it okay so the cells facing west okay now it's pointing north we'll go to the back end of the fuel cell and there we are facing north again come away from the cell and compass level there's north now Donnie already got this set here. We're already facing north anyway on the other fuel cell. See if you can turn it a little bit to the side and we'll show them. Okay. You see the compass the way it's facing? Put it over here. Let's see. Let's see if you can turn it just a little hair more. Okay, see again? and north okay so the force is strong in that cell see north fuel cell 
north again to force this strong young Padawan. Okay, here we are, in front of the other fuel cell, facing north again. Showing you all the, making sure. Now here we go. North. North. Now he's adding some more fresh vinegar. Got the cell filling up. See, it just went down to the low mark, so he's going to fill it back up. Got to get the correct mixture. Start this off. Okay, just got that one filled. We got everything hooked up, we got power. Okay, he's got his valves open, yes. Valves are open. Let me put down my compass. Sorry. Bouncing around here. Okay. You might as well turn on your power, get your voltage hook up and your amp. I'm gonna put down this down here. There's some bench room. Get the cap off this one. Get it ready to fill. This is our master. And these are so we can be able to gauge any vehicle so we can figure out what size fuel cell to build for them. Okay, got everything hooked up. Okay, hit the power. Let's turn things on. There goes the pump. Got a priming issue. Always got a got all your valves open. Fuel cells working. Pump still clogged. Sometimes these pumps we gotta prime them, get them going. And that's the pump just barely lagging right now. When it really picks up, we'll notice it. Still lagging. I still can get the bow. There we go. Now our pump's running. Okay. So it's going. Let's check here, see what we're making for production. There's our production already. It's all about having the pre-charged vinegar or otherwise you got to wait approximately four or five hours depending on the weather. The temperature ain't right. Now you notice, you see the temperature of the fuel cell already starting to go up because we put the hot plate underneath it. And there's the production that we're making already. Okay, now, there's our vaults, let's turn this one on, go to DC, 12.7, temperature 72, and then, let's shoot another, or 71 on the inside. And 70 at the fuel cell already. Let's check our amps. Okay. Already started off at 9. Now it takes us about two days to charge the vinegar. Alright, let's get the